G'day everyone, I'm coming to you again on this YouTube page, uh, which obviously I don't give a fuck about. Gary the Goat, a lot of followers, 161,000, there's only a few thousand watching it now. Why would you do this political shit, Jim, mate? Because I'm just fucking interested in it. And um, I don't give a fuck, man. Um, people are fucking leaving it left, right and centre, but the comment section's getting quite involved, so I, I, I'm enjoying it. So keep putting your comments up. And as I've said before, I, I'm doing it on this Gary page because I do not want my political rants or positions to be uh, just followed by people who completely agree with me. I'd fucking hate that. I'm here to learn as much from you guys as you are from me or each other. Uh, but I, I can't really get opinions out unless I claim a position. So it's, it's weird. We live in a world now where it's like you say one thing wrong and you're just completely discredited. And that's what, what PC is basically just, um, as George Carlin said, it's fascism. You know, uh, you know, with manners. Or he said it better than that, but it's just fucking. It's it's fascism. It's you say one thing wrong, you make one joke wrong, you go to jail. Uh, there's a lot of people going, oh well, you know, people on the right, you know, they they shouldn't be offended either. You're getting offended. Getting offended is cool, man. Left, right, being offended is part of being human. No one's no one's getting upset about being offended. Oh, people are getting upset about being offended, but the people, um wanting free speech are not only saying I want the right to offend other people but they're basically saying as well they can be offended as well but when they're offended they're not going I want you to go to jail because you just committed a thought crime and that's fascism there's no there's no other way around it and what's happening particularly on the left if you look at the comments of what I'm doing is say Tommy Robinson I put up on Facebook a thing with Tommy Robinson um, defending um, this guy who made the Nazi joke, right? And so many people were, were attacking him. I don't want to listen to this because I hate him. And then I put up the Jonathan Pye who's left wing and he's basically saying the same message. And that was, you know, a lot of people fucking going, yeah, yeah, right. So it's the message getting out there. But, you know, I, I, I didn't know much about Tommy Robinson before. I knew a bit about him. And I, I get the, the people who are writing him off are basically saying he's a moron. They're just saying he's a moron, and that's what's happened from the left. It's like, you're a moron, you're a racist, you're a bigot, you're a cunt. Um, I think Tom Ballard in Australia, this, I think, on this ABC show, um, there was a political discussion, and someone called this right winger a cunt, and it's like everyone's, oh, fuck, you're offended just because you called her a cunt. No, no, the right is offended. We're offended when people say you're a cunt or whatever, but it's not offended or we're upset. We're just offended that, fuck, we're... We're having an intellectual argument with someone who can only come up with you're a cunt, you're a racist. It's like having being in a fucking boxing match with someone and, and just getting in the ring and realizing you're fucking having a fight with a bit of paper mache. It's like we want a bit of resistance, like wanna learn. And also you want people arguing from the point of view of wanting the truth. If you argue from your own ego, you're always gonna be defending your own ego. Like, this is my position, and if you don't agree with it, I'm just gonna write you off. There's people writing in the last comment, one guy, I won't mention his name, I don't want anyone bullied, but it's like he's a moron. And I'm going, Tommy Robinson, I'm going, people are going, why, can you come up with a reason? And his ultimate argument was, I think he's a moron, hence I believe he's a moron. That's the fucking, argument you, you know it's like right okay so there's nothing much coming out of the left apart from just pulling names and censoring but the thing is trump's got in now i don't know i don't you know like uh, there's, there's some things about trump i'm not too sure but he's in a position he's doing something whenever you do something whether it's a youtube blog or something as massive as being president of a country particularly america you're always going to piss off someone. So I don't know what the fucking shit he's dealing with. But, you know, there's a few things I don't agree. I don't agree with his hardcore policy on drugs. I don't take drugs, but I've got a... Fr My attitude towards drugs is I'm pro-choice. You put whatever the fuck you want in your body. I put urine in my body. I've been to court over that and been found... Uh, the judge found me, charged me. Criminal offence, guilty. There was no conviction recorded, no charge. So it was fuck all. I can travel. It didn't make any effect, but it was just, just letting you know, you know, push things further, you're going to get a charge, criminal charge. So you should be able to put whatever you want in your body. I don't know, there's just been a big bill passed in America for a um, massive military budget. I'm not a big fan of war, neither than most of the people who voted Trump in. It's like, fucking, fuck the wars. So, you know, the fear with Trump is not that he's going to be like this 
renegade Hitler dictator like the left think. It's it, the fear is he's just going to end up exactly like Hillary. The deep state is just, but you know we just there's no one else on the horizon. He's, he's he's we'll see how he plays out. Definitely by the end of his um uh, his tenure, whether it's eight years or whether he gets shot before elected out or impeached, we'll, we'll fucking have a bit better of an idea. But. I'm just having a rant here. I'm just talking. I don't give a fuck about this page. So if you're still here, cheers. Write some comments. Um, point out where I'm wrong. But have an argument. Don't just go, you're a moron. you fucking fuck. You're racist. It's like, I'm unsubscribing. Plenty of people unsubscribing. But at least most of them just unsubscribe. They don't fucking let everyone know. Particularly the people who just go, I'm unsubscribing. It's like, you've never written a comment ever. And you're just writing in saying you've been watching me for fucking all these years, and that's the only thing you give me, an unsubscribe, how about fucking give me a dollar on the way out? <laughs> yeah, so um, all these YouTubers and and and, uh, and stuff on social media have been banned, you can't go down the mainstream media track when once you start spout, spouting these views, because it's just not in the left paradigm. So um, when you go down the mainstream media of getting your own tonight shows and panels and game shows and fucking ads and all that, you're on fucking big massive money and you're not being paid directly by the fans unless you're doing gigs. Um, uh, but, you know, a lot of the people on the right are just getting a few bucks from YouTube and then um, Patreon, it's fuck all, fuck all people give and uh, going out and doing their gigs but they're generating their own publicity through YouTube and social media, not through mainstream media. They're really getting it virally. You know, you look at the people who go viral and you compare them to the stats from people who have had massive mainstream media exposure and they're just not, haven't got the numbers on social media. So it's a bit more honest on social media. Um, you know, and having said that, I'm fully aware this page is going down, but I couldn't give a fuck, man. So I just want to talk about the far right again. The far right, I'm, oh yeah, Tommy Robinson. I've looked into it, mate. It's calling this guy a moron is fucking ridiculous. I mean, if you look into him, he's done a speech at Oxford. Um, I'll try and put in the links below. He, you know, his, his interview with that Australian Muslim guy was fucking amazing. Um, and he's really interested. He knows heaps about the Muslim religion. I don't know much about, but it's fucking, it's, it's pretty complicated. It's like explaining a game, game of cricket. To, no, no, it's fucking way more complicated than that, even if you don't know cricket. So... This guy's got, he's had Muslim friends at his wedding. He's got, um, you know, this guy's not an outright racist. He's basically, he's said many times, he's totally cool with Muslims being in England if they, if, if, if they sort of, um, sort of, if they integrate and take on the English culture. Uh, you know, just a bit like me being in Japan. Just, you know, just be respectful for it. Not go around going, oh, I want a fucking football field fucking put up here. And, <laughs> you know. Um, so, writing him off is... Anyone who just says you're a moron, you do all that stuff, it's just so... It's not a... It's just so disappointing that the left can only come up with this. The right wants an argument, and we're up for an argument that's better than our ideas. So... This is getting onto the point. The far right's in a very interesting place at the moment because they know that if they go to violence, mate, the 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 state, the deep state, everyone will come on them, down on them, bigger than they came down on Hitler when they realised he was getting too big for his boots. That fucking, you know, they'll send every fucking war machine onto you from every country into the world, funded by all their central bank money, and just fucking eventually get you. So. But also, that's not going to happen with an individual, but if you have a rally or whatever, anything far right gets violent, it'll be like, see, they're violent, and that's an excuse for more laws to come in and suppress, whereas the left... Um, so I don't think Tommy is this thug, although he can fight. I mean, if you've seen that video on YouTube where 10 Antifa guys, you know, and their masks came up to him, 10 on 1, I think it was 8 on 1 or something, and just, you know, did their weak-ass fucking eight-on-one, man. And he took out about four of them, and then they all fucking skedaddled, right? So that mightn't be a good indication of his fighting prowess, though, because, I mean, if you're ganging up eight-on-one and you're wearing masks, you're probably not a good fighter. But he would defend himself. Self-defense, there's nothing illegal about that. Um, but there is something illegal about eight people fucking coming and bashing someone up, and that's why they wear masks. And... Um, the Antifa isn't being, you know, the left, Stalin killed more people than Hitler, 
but the left hasn't got this symbol of Nazi. Have you noticed as well, the left and the right just do not want to claim Hitler on their side. Like the right going, no, he's left, and the left going, no, he's right. They're all going, we don't want fucking anything to do with you. Um, it was on the left, the communist, it, it's not a, it's, there's no Hitler symbol where you get really emotional about it and go, fucking, you were just like that, Antifa. You, you, Antifa, you just, they're like cartoon fucking ninja characters, except <coughs> they're piss weak. So, um, yeah, so the far right cannot get violent. So what the far right is doing is fighting intellectually. The far right have got really sharp, clear arguments and they're just getting shouted down with, shouted down with this big... So it's quite interesting, the far right, getting these intellectual arguments. But the, the, the problem is for the far right is, you know, they're basically saying, we want our homeland. Um, you know, like, they're not saying it's all white. They just they just go, we've got to we got to stop this somehow going in the direction it is, otherwise it's all going to, get, we're going to lose our culture. The problem with that is like, I mean, you look at England. England was invaded by so many fucking, I mean, you know, they're all white, but they're different white strains of whiteness. You know, the Ax Normans, the Saxons, the fucking Vikings. Like England was just fucked over for a couple of millenniums, just invading hordes who just went in there and fucked all the women and, in, you know, infused all their genes into it until about, you know, 17, 800, you know, 17, 1800, whatever. It was like the English gene was just infused with all these invaders was, and then it became the ultimate invader. It just rose out of the swamp like a Frankenstein and just fucking took over half the world, including Australia. And then and now you go to London. I mean, I haven't been there since 2009, but it's incredibly, it's an incredible city. It's just so multicultural, especially in Zone 1 and 2. It's like this, you know, it's been invaded. It's invaded everyone now, and now it's just this London, like, oh, fucking everyone's there. And it's uh, it's an amazing city. It's got a Muslim mayor, and, you know, which is incredible. It's like fucking, you know, years ago, that would be like fucking having a Christian mayor in Saudi Arabia. It's uh, massive changes that happen there. So when the white, the far right... Um, in England in particular, go, we want our homeland. It's kind of like, well, the Aborigines in Australia really, or the Indians in, um, Native Indians in America really couldn't have an intellectual argument with the white people coming over. It's not like, oh, we've got an intellectual argument here saying don't do it. It, it didn't work. They just got gunned out. So it's like, in, at some point, intellectualism maybe doesn't work and violence is definitely not going to work for the far right because it's just going to play right into this globalist takeover. They're just waiting for it, you know, fucking feed the press and, you know, if the far right doesn't go violent at a rally, they'll just make out that they did. So, and then ignore the anti-far. So, it's interesting times now, but I think everyone wants to agree. I think, well, the right does it. Surely we can make arguments king rather than just violence because we've got too many weapons. So, the issue is, and I'm just asking you guys, including the people on the left, it, it's, it, it seems clear to me, I'm not 100%, but it just seems clear that there is something guiding all this to take everyone away from identifying from their own sex, their own nationality, their own religion, whatever, and then, you know, by people who are, are not are really associated with a religion, a state, or anything, um, and 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 they're gonna fucking take over the joint, and and when we realise it, it's gonna be way too late. So nationalities all around the world are we're, we've we've got to fight this uh, and find out what what's going on. What it's not so much that it's hap what's happening to England and the West with all this. You know, it, it, it's culturally being invaded or watered down. It's like, why? Is it, is, is it happening naturally or is it being guided for some other point of view? So, you know, are, are they using... I, I, I think they're attacking their, their greatest enemy, which is free market capitalism, free will, freedom of speech. Now, a lot... Of, and I used to kind of think this when I was younger. You think I was... I was more left, or definitely left, um, where you just go, you just cliche the right as in rich capitalists 
who are cunts. And it's like, Jimbo, what are you talking about? You're supporting fucking, you know, that's it. Right is just rich capitalist cunts. And you don't think beyond that. My views changed when, probably about 2009, when I got, I went over to England. I've been traveling around Australia for ages. I went over to England to have a crack on the comedy scene there and ended up sleeping in the doorway outside Queensgate uh, Station on the Red Line. Um, just down from, um, I think the Hilton's there, just next door there was a tanning cell on there with three doors. I was in one of those doors, six months. I was, you know, I found it all right. I was drinking my own piss and just walking to gigs and I was surviving on 10 pounds a day and um, it was fine. I didn't have a family to look after. A bit hard to pull a route there, but... Uh, what was that, Maya? Yeah, Maya, I'm just making a quick video and then I'll come and play with you. So five minutes, right? And then I'll come in and play with you, okay? Okay. Yeah, didn't have a family then, so... Uh, <clears throat> It'd be hard to fucking... Anyway, my life's got a bit more complicated. Um, but yeah, and I realised that I got out of the comedy industry and I got into the free market and I was doing my own comedy and I was doing well. I was getting a crowd, social media, and then like you're trying to get your own income and it's like all these rules and regulations come down on you. Cops taking you to court. The state was just completely harassing me. And they're shadowless. You can't get them. And I was like, how do you get an income? How do I get a build up massive social media following? No one's giving me money. Everyone expects it for free. And then you say, can you give me money? It's like, no, you're a socialist. It's like, what the fuck? Free market capitalism. Socialism was where you give out shit for free. This is all going out for free. So I satisfy the socialism. So I'm basically saying that, and a lot of people are, that free market, free will capitalism is has been championed by the... Yeah, I'll come in a minute, Maya. Has been championed by the um, mainly white people, but what's rising up is not white power or anything like that. Is This is the only thing that can defeat the globalists because we can create our own income. We're not dependent on their money. We can just create it through business, free up regulation, get competition happening. And then from there, you can give out good stuff, good technologies. Whereas now the big technologies, medical industry is a classic, gets so big that they bribe the government to ban any competition. So, uh, you know, it's like the comedy industry getting so big that they ban any other comedians who don't come up through their comedy rooms, which is pretty well happening. You can't come up through com comedy rooms without being fucking left. Name one who isn't, and if they are, they fucking don't tell you, because they go, oh, I'm gonna fucking alien alienate half me base. But, um, yeah, that's it. What, what do you guys think, left and right? If there is a deep state, that's the, the, you know, it's pretty obvious with the media now that you know they haven't supported Trump. They're not supporting him. Fuck knows what that guy's dealing with and trying to trick people into doing what. When I say trick people, you know, his latest bill is passed. Is he's, he's, he's got some thing to, you know, he's, I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but it's he's living a lot more complicated life than I. I've just got to, um, you know look after my family and I appreciate anyone who helps me out doing that and um, yeah I'm going to keep going with this blog tell us what you reckon guys I'm going to just spend some time with my daughter and uh, I'm going to try and keep these blogs up daily or whatever because I really enjoy your feedback uh, good and bad so come in with an idea I welcome and everyone does welcome negative ideas but don't just go this whole idea of I don't like like people go with Tommy Robinson I don't like you because this I've been told that you're wrong it's just work it out yourself and then at least come up with an idea of why. People can't really come up with an idea why they hate Tommy Robinson. Look into him. I'm not saying agree with it. Look into every fucking thing. Question it and don't be afraid to be wrong. Because the whole idea that you're afraid to be wrong or embarrassed because I said something wrong um, is fucking ridiculous, mate. You don't learn unless you do something wrong. Um, you know, and so, yeah, let us know what you reckon.